Finnegan is one of the 11 candidates that you can choose from in the elections. But what actually makes Finnegan good? Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can benefit from this amazing mayor regardless of your current progress. So whether you're an early game player looking to make a lot of coins, a mid game farmer looking to unlock farming 60 faster, or an end game investor looking for the best opportunities to invest in, Mayor Finnegan has something for everyone. He has three different perks, farming simulator, goaded, and most important out of the three, Pelt Pocalypse. Note, elected mayors may not always have all three perks active, so make sure you pay attention to which perks are actually active. Now, let's start with the first perk on the list, Farming Simulator. It gives you a 25% chance to double the counter gains on the hoe, as well as the cultivating enchant. What that means is, if you farm 80 million sugarcane, for example, your counter will be at 100 million, not 80. I personally don't see any benefit of this perk, so let's just forget it and keep going because the other two perks more than make up for it. So remember how getting a gold medal used to be super easy before the garden update? All you needed to get gold was a level 100 elephant and a mythic hoe, but now you need to have a full fermento armor with completely maxed out hoe and at least farming 55, not to even mention a level 100 elephant with green bandana. That setup requirement to get gold is just ridiculous. And that is exactly where goaded perks comes in clutch. Goated perk increases Jacob's contest brackets by 10%, which means that gold brackets will include 15% of top farmers instead of 5%. Of course, because of this perk, a lot more people will farm and it won't be like, oh, getting a gold is as easy as silver without this mayor. But looking at my old contests, the gold medal requirement drops by about 15 to 20% during Finnegan. Now the last perk, which is a paradise for early game money making as well as mid game and end game investing, Pelt Pocalypse. This perk gives you a 1.5 multiplier on all of the pelts you obtain while Mayor Finnegan is in the office. Before we talk about investing, first let's touch on the early game part of it. To grind pelts, you will need a starter investment of only 13 million coins to buy Trapper Crest, Pelt Belt and a Trapper Warp. You can also get Jake's Plushie for extra 1 pelt per mob kill, but it's not really that necessary. Nextly, when you accept the Trapper's quest, you have a chance to get one of the 6 different locations where you will have an objective of hunting a mob. The 6 different locations are Desert Settlement, Oasis, Desert Mountains, Mushroom Gorge, Glowing Mushroom Cave, and Overgrown Mushroom Cave. Desert Settlement is the easiest because the mob is always in this 20x20 20 20 area and it's easy to kill. Oasis is quite easy but sometimes mobs like to spawn in the trees or under the island so if you have a problem to find your mob for a minute then just swap the lobby and reset the cooldown. Desert Mountains is also quite easy. In fact, most of the mobs just suffocate themselves so you will most likely just get free pals. Mushroom Gorge is probably the worst one because this location is huge and even if you think that you've been everywhere and you feel like your mob doesn't exist, well, it's probably just hiding in some weird spot like here. Lastly, we have Glowing Mushroom Cave and Overgrown Mushroom Cave, which are easy, but stay true to the rule of if you can't find your mob for over a minute, just swap the lobby. Now the raids. My good friend Murky, who is a professional pelt hunter, says that with all this information and some practice, you can get 700 to 800 pelts per hour, which is exactly enough to buy two trapper crests. But that's not where the story ends. If you stop here, these two talismans will be worth like 6 million each making you 12 million an hour. But if you grind these two crests per hour, then keep all of them in your inventory while you grind more pals, all of the talismans you have will slowly turn into uncommon for every 500 pals you get. That way you will produce a lot more uncommon trapper crests, and now the best part comes. If you sold these uncommons while Finnegan is still elected, this method would make 15 to 18 million per hour. But if you keep them for about a month after he was elected, they usually rise to about 12.5 million coins per making you 25 million coins per hour. You get all that just by grinding pals with 13 million setup, which is insane for early game players. But you have to hold for a while and trust the market. Now, moving on to the investment. As I said before, a lot of players will take 15 million coins profit instead of waiting till Mayor Finnegan is done and keep and hold and wait. They wanna get the money and buy something else. So if you're one of the players who like investing, you should try to get uncommon trapper crests at their lowest, which is like five to seven million coins 
this perk. And then after like a month or two of Mayor Finnegan being gone, people will still need the talismans. So the price is gonna rise, obviously. And that's where you come. You're gonna list the talismans for like 12 million coins, 15 million coins, it depends on the market. But if you actually do this method, remember to not go like super overkill because people are gonna buy like four to 10 talismans per day. So it's not like a, oh, I can buy a thousand talismans and they're gonna sell quick, I'm gonna make so much money. It's not like that, but let's say you invest in a hundred because that's like a realistic number. You invest 600 million and after like a month or two of waiting, you can start slowly selling. Also consider subscribing because I put a lot of work into these videos and only like 3% of people are actually subscribed.